I think we might have a couple of bikes to have a quick look at. What do you think, Shane? Yeah, sounds good. What I'm yeah. going to do, I'm going to share a screen. This is all quite ailing, but let's see how we go. There's two bikes in that one photo. There's two bikes in this one photo, mainly because, uh, let me go back over to our run sheet. This is Zane Hall. Now, um, <clears throat> Zane's idol or mentor, um, let me see. I'll quickly read what Zane has to say about his Esquire. And look, we do apologise too. Zane actually had sent this in prior to the last episode and we missed it. So we're putting it up in this episode. But um, apologies to the Hall family for not putting up in the in last episode. But we have got it up here and we made sure it was the first bike because of that. Sorry, so, Zane. Sorry, mate. <laughs> sorry, Zane. Yeah. So my name is Zane. It's not. My name's Gary. But uh, <laughs> my name is Zane and I'm 10 years old and this is Shotgun. Uh, Zane actually names all his bikes. So this one, this new one here is called Shotgun. My choice of bike is because his coach, mentor, role model and mate, Robert Slatter. And that's part of the reason there's two bikes in this. One was uh, Robert's and the other oh, one is uh, That's why there's two there. He wanted to emulate his mentor. So um, the thing he likes the best about this is the, the custom colour. So, yeah, it is a lovely looking bike. And obviously um, John Sawyer would be very happy with that because it's very answered S squared out. So it is, uh, it is a, a great looking rig as, as well as um, Robert's bike, which has now been superseded. What, um, what rims are on, the, on Zane's bike there? They're a sun rim done oh. by, are they a sun rim done by? Hmm. I can't tell. All right, all right. Yeah, I, I think actually, I, I, I thought he was going to go with a um, with answer wheel set, but I think he might have gone with an excess wheel set. So there might be excess rims done by some ring Yeah, yeah. That, that that that's what the logo looks like on it. Uh, yeah. But yeah, nice little rig, and um, and again, apologies for um, not putting it up last week. But, yeah, I love the way that he set them up with both bikes there. So it, it is like a mirror image almost or a, a, um, a duplicate of, of Robert's bike. So pretty cool. Don't get scary here. Get close like that. <laughs> I'm having a close look at the bike. It looks nice. <laughs> okay, next cab off the rank. You can take this one over if you want. Uh, this one is Adam Baker's, and I think he thinks the bike speaks for itself because he didn't send a description. Um, but it is a custom build. He um, went to a lot of trouble to uh, to set this one up. I remember all the questions about it when he um, was starting to piece it all together. So it's a the TNT C4 C4 frame, which has a real retro look about it, but apparently it has a very modern um, race geometry. Um, so Adam's the kind of guy that doesn't get to race a lot because he spends a little bit of time on the ground. Um, but <laughs> the bike still looks pretty good to me. Yeah. And if you the... need any design work, Adam is the man to uh to do it for you. And hence, hence our new ECI BMX t shirts and hats. The artwork on that's all done by Adam Baker. Uh, Baker Designs, I think he might be starting to call himself now. Something yep. like that. So, yeah, moving right along. Another TNT. So you can tell us about this one. Uh, this is uh, the, yeah, this is a real mid-school build. Um, uh, something a bit different for the show instead of just a, a solid race build. Um, this is a, a long-time customer of mine, Heinz, who's, who's built this up as a um, TNT Superfong, probably would have bought his original one from me back in the day. We used to distribute TNT about 20 years ago. We still do now. Um, but, yeah, with the um, spin wheels, which you just don't get to see anymore, 
but what's probably stands out even more is the um, the triple or the the crown forks. The, the um, are they Pantano forks? Aluminites. Uh, ant, uh, aluminium um, answer pro fork, I believe. Oh, no, not a pro fork. Sorry? It's not a pro fork. There's no suspension in that one. No, nah, but I think that's what they were called. Weren't they? Oh, right. Oh, All right. We'll have, we'll have a look. Actually, um, I think Heinz, did he give a breakdown of it? He did. I removed it from our running sheet. So yeah. let's see uh, if I can find the email. Uh. Okay, well... I'll find the email. Yeah. H-E-I-N-Z. Uh, well, we're both right. They're Answer Alumulite Pro Forks. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Answer Alumulite Pro Forks. Um, yeah, it's unusual to have a bit of a mid-school build like that on here, but... Uh, just goes to show we're not prejudiced, we'll show anything. <laughs> <laughs> he, he did, say, he money did on that. say, though, that he sent the photo in because he noticed the mid-school TNT jersey that sits behind you in the office. Oh, yeah, probably. Uh, actually, that's, uh, that's my daughter. Actually, there's, a, there's two TNT jerseys up there, both with Brooks written on the back. Oh, right. So, um, yeah. Okay, moving right along. Okay, so, you can talk about this one. <laughs> this is my mate Craig Austin, uh, Australia's favourite midget wrestler, also known as Joey Russell Jr. So um, Craig plays around with his bike more than anybody I know, so it's um, unusual to see his bike uh, the same from one photo to, to the next. He's normally tweaking tyres and wheels and stems and handlebars and frames and cranks and anything else he can get his hands on. So this looks like a Supercross Envy Sport, um, which I don't think he's had particularly long with the Supercross Chromo Forks. Um, it's got the brand new carbon Troy Lee helmet seat, and he's using the, um, I think, fist gloves chain ring on there. Fist, fist chain ring, yeah. <laughs> in, in other words, Craig, get all that stuff off the bike so we can see it. <laughs> And, and maybe and you can take a photo of it so we can see it. He's gone to very little effort in setting this one up so we can see much about the bike. But um, he's very bike proud, so he's always taking photos of them. I just uh, would have imagined he'd take a little bit better one for this competition. I think I think what he could have done is got a bit more elevation. Oh, hang on <laughs> <a second. laughs> Anyway, <laughs> moving right along. <laughs> ah, thanks, Craig. That's that's. Thank you very much for putting that in. It is a good bike, mate. And uh, Craig and I go back a long way. I, I think um, <clears throat> I had a custom bike built for Craig probably 20 plus years ago. It was a Tanjay custom frame that um, because of because of Craig's stature. We had to get a frame custom built, and that was um, uh, Tanya and Jason Spence out of Queensland um, built that, the Tanjay frame. Uh, he ended up selling it or got it stolen and then located it again many years later and now still owns it. So, uh, yeah, Craig and I go back a long way. So, um, yeah, thanks, mate. Thanks for the support. Who's next? Whoa. Wow. Amazo. That really is pretty. Some serious colour in that. Yeah, you're not going to lose that. Speaking of Craig losing his frame, you're not going to lose this one. <laughs> There's no way in the world. This is high vis to the max. So has that got um, rainbow tie spokes in it? Um, I don't think so. I don't believe so. It's hard to see in that photo. They don't look rainbow tie, but they may be. Okay. Photos generally don't do it um, justice. So this is Tala Bungay. Taylor. Yeah. Bungane. Bungane. You Bungane. better start this one off again. <laughs> so who's this one, mate? <laughs> it looks like Taylor Bungane. <laughs> so the email says, this is my 10-year-old daughter's bike. Taylor's favourite colour is purple. So when Mabo released the 2020 colour range... It was only natural that Taylor wanted a purple frame. 
since riding this bike, Taylor's manualing and jumping has progression, uh, progressed a long way over the past two months. Unfortunately, with the coronavirus situation, Taylor hasn't had much track time, which she is very disappointed about. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, it looks like a nice ride and it looks like one of those bikes that um, kids would be busting to get out on, on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, yeah, it strikes me funny. Well, not funny with it, but it, it's... You'd never put, oh, I'd never put purple and orange together, but with this it works. It actually yeah. looks really good. It's not, it's, it's not a colour scheme you'd normally match up. Are they purple handle grips as well? Yeah, yeah. Pur purple ODIs. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a very, very nice, uh, very, very nice setup. Very nice. And again, uh, tonight, every bike so far has been Vibro. Oh, yeah. Which I think has been pretty well every bike we've shown so far. Uh, yeah, I'll go back to the first episode and have a look. Yep. All <clears throat> right. Okay. And that's it for, the, to, for tonight's uh, or today's bikes. Well, it's not really because we haven't picked a winner. Ah, so yeah, well, see, I picked last episode, so I reckon it might be up to you. Up to you. Oh, I thought it was a group decision. Yeah. Uh, so, have you got any kicker headphones there you can show the camera? I think I've got one set left. Excuse me, I'll just depart. <clears throat> All right, let's stop sharing the screen and show off the kicker headphones. Ah, oh, stop sharing the screen. That's. Oh, show us your headphones, mate. Oh, show us your headphones. There you go. <laughs> One set of kicker, kicker earbud hef, headphone type arrangements. I don't know what they are, but yeah. In your wear? Hey? In your wear? In your bud. <laughs> earbud. <laughs> headphones. Uh, and along with that, um, an ECI BMX t shirt and a sticker pack. So it's a good little prize. All right. Um, up to me, you said. Yeah. I reckon it's the battle of the ten-year-olds, so we're going to narrow it down between Zane Hall and Taylor. Very, you know, very. You know what? I I think personally, um, I think the headphones, t-shirt, and sticker pack can go to Zane just because we missed out um, posting it last show. But with uh, Taylor, I'm going to send out a sticker pack and a T-shirt as well. Oh, very generous of you. So, uh, very, very close second. All right. That's our Show Us Your Bike competition. Make sure you submit your photos through ecitv.com.au for our next episode. Uh, very easy. Take a photo. Make sure you take your helmet and your gloves off your bike. Um, and we'll go through it, and there's always at least one winner, obviously. Um, maybe more if Gary's feeling generous, so make sure you send him lots of love and heaps of fan mail. Uh, that's about it for that segment. What's next, Gary? Um, I think <clears throat> what's coming up next week. What is coming up next? Oh, next week, of course. Because so we're yeah, we've decided we're probably going to do it uh, in about a week's time, uh, episode four, because um, there's just so much going on. So, yeah, uh, we've got a couple more interviews coming up. We've got, um, hopefully, we've got another episode of um, Dad Joke Battle and um, a bit more information on what's happening with the coronavirus and BMX racing as it stands at the moment. Of course, we should thank all of our contributors, everybody that sent photos in of their bikes, um, even if they didn't go to a particularly lot of effort. Um, we should thank the people who we interviewed, John Sawyer, Bill Ryan, Bruce Morris. Um, thanks to the Dozer for introducing his first uh, Dozer Dad Battles, Dad Joke Battles um, segment, and Max and Connor for um, going head to head in our first Dad Joke Battles segment yeah definitely and look to stay up to date with all of this please jump on our youtube and um you know when you are watching it please subscribe uh and you get the opportunity to stay up to date with everything we also post other little bits and pieces little how-tos and other 
snippets. So um, it's definitely worth subscribing to um, ECI BMX <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> 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 So yeah, the, as, he says, as he says with confidence. <laughs> the YouTube is ECI Imports. That's it. Or BMX. <laughs> or just go to ecitv.com.au and it'll take you to all the important places. And the ECI BMX t-shirts are available on ECI Imports. Uh, here's Lux BMX. Uh, not open to the public at the moment, but still shipping orders out. Front door, you guys probably see a lot of our shots. We're taking photos of race bikes, anything we've just built. Move in. Front door is pretty solid. The whole door. This is an outlaw motorcycle club. Uh, the ex wet the ex clubhouse here, so she's pretty fortified. Pretty dark in the shop at the moment. We've got all the lights on the showrooms closed to the public. Tablets. Main sort of part of the showroom. Shooting a few products here. What kind of products do people expect to see on the show? Uh, at the moment, we just we just try and keep the most updated images we can. Not all not just not all suppliers and manufacturers have the best quality images, so they aren't. We we often take them ourselves. Obviously, all the other stuff with social media. You just saw a thing you see pop up on, you know, Lux BMX and and their ra and the race socials. There's something for uh, this old guy's race bike here we saw in the background before. <laughs> Hung up on the shelf because there's no ideas. One, one of the shop dogs down here, eh? <laughs> Is he the top dog? Yeah, yeah he, he's a big dog, Marvin. He, him and Marvin aren't great mates. <laughs> So our uh, counter, bar, and uh, out back to the shop, doorbell's ringing, we've got a new doorbell now, and this is our warehouse back here. Wow, it's quite big, isn't it? Yeah, it's bigger than the showroom. So what, what brands do you mostly carry? Uh, on the race side? Yeah. BK, GT, Speed Cover Course is a big one for us. Red line. Uh, what else? We got Chase, of course. So yeah, that pretty much covers it for us. Very nice. Thanks for the walkthrough, Pussy. Thanks, guys. See you later. Yeah. Look at the camera. G'day. <laughs> G'day. I'm Gary from ECI Imports and ECI BMX TV. I'll start again. <laughs> G'day, I'm Gary from ECI TV. Uh, you're watching. No, we're already watching ECI TV. <laughs> so we'd rather just have a bit of fun with it and show people that it can be fun. Why would they be critical of BMX? BMX is fun. <laughs> Come on, you know that. <laughs> How long have we known each other? Come on, BMX is fun. Why would you? Why would? Why would we be critical of BMX? I'm. I'm I'm just the lowly guy who sits behind a computer and sweeps the floors. I'm the sanitation guy over here. <laughs> I've seen I that. I got trash this morning and cleaned the toilets, washed my hands really good. I'm the sanitation manager. <laughs> I've seen that on your LinkedIn account, I think. Yeah. Um, and um, sanitation, that's what I do. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, that was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> it is so hard. It is so hard to um, to record intros and outtakes when you're not actually watching it in between. But you, you and YouTube land don't realise that. But anyway, okay. Make sure you press the play button, Gary. What play button? The one to play the interview. <laughs> <laughs> blah 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 blah. Oh, more 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 more. Less to edit. I feel like I've got jumping beans today. <laughs> hey, dig the, dig the tea. It does look good. <laughs> what do you think of that one, Gary? Hey, bring it in. Okay, hey, it's Sean Collins here, coming live from the Rhodesian Embassy. And just going to let you know about this new thing called 
The Dozer dad joke. Oh, battle! I <laughs> battle! Oh, I fucked that up. I was thinking, like, oh. It's probably. Um, <laughs> One second, let's throw my battery on here. Phone's going dead. All right, we got it. Um, the other hard, the other hard part to this, to the stuff is, geez, what was I just telling you? God damn it! I hate yeah. when I do that. <laughs> I can answer that. It's okay. That, that, that might end up on the bloopers. <laughs> yeah, it could be. No, I don't care. Put it on there. Um, I do that shit twenty times a damn day anymore. Uh, uh, you're getting older, mate. <laughs> oh, I'm getting. Oh, I'm getting real old. But I always remember it. It might take me four or five minutes, but I always remember it. <laughs> I actually can't think. I've got, a, I've got a blank. Oh my gosh, I've got a blank. Oh no, I've got a blank. Oh no. Oh, I should have wrote them down. All right, cut. <laughs>